Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Already when we left off. Um, <laughs> so, we had a crash right around here. I found out that the autosave actually worked this time, and it actually brought me back to where we needed to be. Uh, at least in this facility. So I just did everything over again. Not every item came back the same, but we got most of the items. And, uh, yeah, when I did that and I got to this point, I had saved. Went into the room again to see if I could just complete the room. It was mainly a test, per se. It was a bug test a little bit, if you will. And it crashed again. So I went back to my save. And it worked. So here's hoping the second time was the charm and it fixed whatever problem it was. So here we go. So, onward we go. We fight them. Here's hoping it doesn't crash again. All right. And we're good. So far, so good. Oh, we're doing great. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, well, we'll go for that one. Finish that one off. And perfect. All right. And we did it, and no crash. Perfect. I don't know what caused the crash the first time or the second time, but it all worked out in the end, and that's the important part. No crashes, no problem. Another energy projector. And now we can move on this way. Ooh, well, break that door open eventually. Um, huh. That's weird. Don't know why that's not opening. Also, I hit the wrong button again. Huh. Do I need to go all the way around? Is that what you're going to make me do? I guess it is. Okay. Fair enough. We'll just go all the way around. And I'm pretty sure I did the entirety of this room. Yeah, I did. When I was looking at the map, I noticed there were some dark spots. And I was like, didn't I explore, like, literally all of that room? I was pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I looted this guy, too. And the locker I didn't interact with. I was hoping after I dealt with all the fishies, I could... Probably convince there? him. Yeah, um... Why don't you come out here? Like that, wouldn't you? I walk out and bam! Cell cats swarm in from everywhere, ripping and rending. Fishy moves fast and silent. No, 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 my friend. I don't play that game. I've got a winning hand right <laughs> I don't play that room. game. <laughs> my room, no fishy fishy for me. And the cell cats went insane and started killing everybody. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Okay. We'll protect you from the cell cat. No, no, no. Only okay. So, still the same thing. Okay. We'll bye just bye. leave you there. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. Okay. You still want to believe it? That's fine. That's your prerogative. All right. So, I go straight. Equipment pack. I'm pretty sure I already looted that as well remains oh yeah that's right that was where i got the uh, uh oh what is it <laughs> yes what johnny got in my way <laughs> that's where i looted that one thing that uh jedi knight thing i think maybe nope won't open this way either that's weird Oh, well. 
Well, we go around. Oh, uh oh. Faulty patrol droid. Found a lot of those. Ooh, plasma grenade. Nice. And I can't open that. All right. Well, time to heal. And I have a suit, so I guess we can go out these doors, but it won't let me do this one. Interesting. I just looted that. I am an idiot. <sighs> it would be so nice if I could just open this damn thing, but no, no, it don't want to let me. No open up for stray. No, not at all. That would be too convenient for Stray Cat. No, no, no. Let's make him work harder. All right. Why am I talking in the third person? I've suddenly become Khajiit. This one has wares if you have coin. Wow, I am. I do that too well. Anyway, let us move on. Uh, whoops, that's not the button I wanted to hit. Dummy, dumb, dumb, dumbass. Is that another? Yeah, that is another airlock right there. I was curious. I guess we go through this one. Unless it tells us no. It tells us yes. You only have one Enviro suit available. If you proceed through the airlock, all party members will have to stay behind until your return. Fuck. Nah. I didn't swear. No, I didn't swear at all. No. YouTube algorithm, you can't shadow ban my content because I swear this early on in the episode. No, not at all. I didn't swear. No, you swore, if anything. Okay, I'm going to shut up. All right, let's do the airlock sequence. Let us go through the facility. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Huh. Someone else in an air suit. Interesting. And there's nothing here for me. I'm just going to go towards the other guy in an air suit. Or enviro suit, I should say. That is the proper term for the thing. Hmm. It is a survivor. Hmm. Who's there? You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Yep. Are you another rescue crew? Uh, the Republic did send us down here to investigate. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkath killing everything that moves. All my companions Jeez. are dead. The Selkath swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Really? Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy Selkath. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. What are you doing in the underwater section, then? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hrackert Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured okay. my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, harvester. it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor okay. than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. All right. You wait here. I'll go check it out. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We okay. should probably stick together. But I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Okay, if you say so. So that is the critical path. So we're going to go this way. To see what exploration I can do. Mm. 
Wow, this is crushingly slow. But it makes sense because we're underwater. Alrighty. Can I open that door? It's a welded door, so it's welded shut, probably. Yep. Sounds about right. And down here is... Oh. Oh, and I can actually loot things. How about that? Average frag mines. That's fine. And here I was thinking there would be nothing I can loot. That just goes to show me. The real question is, how do I get that in my inventory, though? Hmm. Weird. Well, anyway, we're going to head back down. And then go down the critical path. Because that's really the only other option I have now. Wow, this is so slow. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to stop that bit. Huh. <sighs> never really been underwater all that much. So now I'm thinking about it. I've been, well, I've been in like a pool, sure, and been pretty deep in that pool, but I've never been, you know, underwater like this, per se. Or even similarly close to this. I kind of want to. Feels like it would be peaceful. Or maybe I'm just crazy. It could be either or. <laughs> Por que no las dos, as they say. Okay. Ooh. Well, here's a survivor again. Come on, hurry up. Don't okay. just stand there, we have to keep moving. The water is filled with... Ah! A, it had to do that just as I was talking about wanting to go underwater. B, he tells me we have to keep moving, yet he stops. And then gets caught up by the big old sharky boy. C, I just wanted to say C because we're in the ocean. Ha ha ha. Anyway. On we go. Uh, oh yeah, I have the sonic emitter. I have two of them for some reason. I technically could go this way. Uh -huh. Well, they're going to come over here. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't want to kill them. Just wanted, you know, to incapacitate them a little bit. Wasn't hoping to kill them. Damn it. Huh. I think I know that room. And yet there's a shark in it. Oh, that's the one that's welded shut. I see now. That makes more sense. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, that got both of them. And luckily didn't involve me getting damage. That would have been bad. I'm just going to put that back on there just in case. Alrighty. Well, I think this is a separate facility door. Said it was locked, but it let me in. Interesting. Oh! More of the cuckoo bonkers. Okay, fair enough. Well, there's that done. Uh-oh. There's that, anyway. And heal. And I'm good. Perfect. Antidote kit. Beautiful. Concussion grenade and battle stimulant. Okay. Credits and a concussion grenades. Nice. Huh. There's people in there. Hmm. Okay. No, Hello. No, you can't come in here. Okay. You'll let the Firaxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out. Stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them. Kill them now. Wow. Okay. 60 seconds to complete depressurization. Wow. All right. Um. 54 seconds to complete depressurization. Can I? I can actually deactivate it from here. Good. Beautiful. No. No. The Faraxa will get us. No, the cell cath are coming. No. No, no! Ah! I'll protect you. I'm a friend. You're both safe now. I, I'm sorry for what I did. Are you? I don't know what came over me. I, oh yeah. I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. Uh huh. Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. Right. I'm just scared. When the cell cath went crazy. I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The Frax and sharks just tore them apart. Mm -hmm. It was it was like they were frenzied. They were. Next thing we knew, probably our Selkath researchers started screaming and, and 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 clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Jesus. Sammy and me, I I thought we were the only ones left. We heard Probably the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while, and strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Well, I mean, you do have a lot to answer for, but, uh... Uh, why did the cell cath go all crazy? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This, this monster rumbling. rose up from the rift. Oh. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. Really? It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the cell caths started screaming, too. And they turned on us. What, did the shark have something to do with that? Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. The it ruins? Been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. How could you miss something that big living there? I don't know. It seems impossible, but maybe whatever sort of power it used to drive the Selkath insane masked it from us somehow. Maybe it was lying dormant deeper in the rift. I think it might live there. Live there because of the culto. Maybe. That would explain more. Like 
why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent, and also why it's so large. It must be feeding off the cold tone. Yeah. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Colto as a food source... And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. Ah. So where is this monster Firaxan now? I don't know. Her mother. It must still be out there. Out there, waiting for us. So what can I do about it? The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. Mm -hmm. Some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. What does the compound do? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Frax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Oh, Which Jesus. is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. Oh. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. What else could I do? You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Colto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. What other choice do I have, though? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. How would I do that? You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel, so that the fuel mm -hmm. tank canisters will rupture and the entire yeah. machine will destroy itself. Yeah. The hydroleum Makes gas sense. we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. Gotcha. If you so inject bring it enough to of the hydroleum million. gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn the liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, mm -hmm. but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. I will try to destroy the harvesting machine. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the Colto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the Colto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. Oh, I'm gonna make the right choice. Trust me. Ooh. Foot lockers. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Uh-oh. Well, I did say I'd protect them. So... Ah, come on, I want you to do that. There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty. Nice. Remains from you. Nice. Foot Locker had Antidote Kit, and the Republic Soldier had... Breath Mask and a Chani Jeweling Shield. China, right? I keep running into those. I should be able to see them. It's annoying that I can't. Cool. Alright, we got all of that. Oh. 
wish I could grab that. All right. Well, I'll walk past them. There we go. Foot locker. Beautiful. Ow. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess we'll go in the other direction. Just so I have looted that side. If there's any loot to be had over there. <sighs> okay. All right. Begin. I'll head back later. All right. I'm assuming that direction goes to the other door I saw. Which is further that away. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Alright. Well, that's not the main direction I'm trying to head. So, oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I had a feeling. Well, hello. Bye bye. Anything in here I could do? Thunk, 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 thunk. And. Nerf amplifier belt. And that's it. Okay. Well, still got something out of it. Didn't know the glass on this side was shattered. Makes sense a little bit, but still. Alright. I'm just gonna fast forward this bit, so give me a moment. Alrighty, well, I've tested my theory, and so far, nothing. <laughs> there was nothing back there for me to loot or do anything with, so I'm just going to go to the other door and use that. If it'll let me. If there's anything I can do with that door, that is. We'll find out. Eventually. Wow, this is so slow. Jesus. This is why water levels suck. Because they always take so long. <laughs> Alright. And we're almost there. Alright. Okay, and I was correct. It was the other door towards this side. Okay, so I got to go through them towards that door, which is what I figured the critical path was. And then we will be done with this section of the game. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought I hit the button hard enough. I guess I didn't. Okay, onward we go. <laughs> well, hello. That was quick. And I'm surprised it worked from this distance. Figured I had to be closer. Well, hello. Well, bye. <laughs> it looks like I'm doing a force power. It's like, ha! Alrighty. Can I use this door? Yes. Oh, 
on? Here are my people. Hello. Hello, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, you know, I know. I just wanted to make sure if I could go through this door. And this was a door that was said it was locked earlier. So I guess if I can come through this way, it works now. Cool. Gotta love shortcuts. Okay, so this is the big old machinery driller thing. I'm assuming. Because it's a lot of big pipes and stuff. So, it's the only thing that makes sense. And we go. Colto control panel. There's a big thing over there. Is that the big shark? Okay, I'm too curious. I'm going to save and I'm going to go check it. <laughs> Alright, now that I've saved, I have to go check. want to check and see what it'll happen if I go towards it right now. And I'll have my hand on the sonic emitter just in case it save me in the end. an unceremonious death. Okay. <laughs> well, that is something I definitely expected. Didn't expect it to play out like that. Alright. Let's go back. Haha! <laughs> now my curiosity has been sated. And we're right back to where we were. All right. Harvester control. Uh, access the fuel tank pressure control. Okay. Operator warning. Hydroleum unstable at 4 million sangin. Pressure would rupture container pod. That's fine. Fuel injector pod at O of 3 million sangin. Container pod at O of 5 million. Uh, fill the injector pod. And then put that in the container. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Dump the container. Transfer from injector to container. Yes, there we go. Uh, fill injector. Uh, hmm. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. We then dump the container pod. Yes. And then we transfer the injector to container. Yes. And then we fill the injector pod again. And the container pod is at 1 of 5 million. So then I just transfer the injector to container. Harvester malfunction. Emergency shutdown initiated. Failure. Warning, warning. Container pod unstable. Evacuate immediately. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Big kaboom. Okay. Well, that did it. And drove away the big sharky. Well, from there, move the sharky all the way over there. Now that the Colto harvesting machine has been destroyed, the Drake Fraxen shows no signs of hostility. It allows you to pass. Yay, thank you. But there is an alternate reality where you ate me, and I'm still a little mad about that. I mean, I understand why, but I'm still a little mad about it. And there's the star map, right there.
And here we go. Beautiful. have another piece of the star map. It is complete and we can leave. Oh boy, getting back is going to be a pain. <laughs> I'm half tempted just to fast forward it. I might do that. Okay, see you in a bit. came over here just to see what their reaction will be because I'm sure they felt well, we that. We saw what you did out there on the cameras. Destroying the machinery was the right thing to do for everyone. That creature, the giant Fraxton shark, the guardian of the Colto or whatever it was, seems to have calmed down a lot. It may even be safe to go outside now, but we'll stay here and wait for the Republic rescue crews. Thank you for not making a huge mistake. You're welcome. What do you have to say, Mr. Murder Everything with Poison? I saw what happened on the camera, and I can't believe what you did. Mm -hmm. How could you willfully destroy the Colto harvesting machinery? That'll set us back years. I'll have or you maybe know you shouldn't be doing it. To the surface, I'll have the Republic do a full inquiry into your actions. Now go back to the Wah. surface and get the Republic to send a real rescue team down for us. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. Big bitch. All right, let's go out the door again. Yep, begin airlock. We go out the other door this time, which will lead us right back to the surface, and maybe I can convince the rest of them to calm the fuck down. And maybe get off the station with me. Maybe. Or maybe they'll be content to wait for a proper rescue crew. Who knows? Hey, everyone got a save. Not a save. A level. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. All right. So, Juhani will bring her up to that and that. That'll be nice. And then feats. What should we do for her feats? That's a good question. Um, hmm. Conditioning. That might be good. It might be good. Or we could do the toughness. Toughness would be great too. There we go. Powers. Go with heal. I don't see why not. Or we could have her learn disabled droid. That works too. Or be our combat specialist. There we go. Works great. And then Jolie skills yeah we'll do treat injury feats um hmm. yeah master dueling let's do that and powers let's have him learn force wave too there we go perfect he is definitely leaning towards the light with my influence i tell you what although i am Way down on the scale. Doing all those friggin' Gino Haradin missions. Jesus. Knew I should have known better. Alright, anywho. Um, hmm. And that is the submersible. There was a storage for the Enviro suit. Let's see if we can get that one guy to lighten up. Can we open the store? No? Can I cut through it? No? Okay. Welp. Figured it was worth a shot. And that path was to lead us to there. So we'll go through here. 
Huh. It strikes me now, and I question if it was a mechanic, that it was the large fraction shark that set the cell cath into insanity. If I had left any of the cell cath alive, would they be sane now? I'll have to look Is into that. There? Come on, why don't you come out? No, 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 my friend. Uh, th it's all, it's all good. We'll protect you. No, only the ones come left. on, let me force no, persuade you. No, no okay. Jesus. All, all right, right, we'll just leave you in there. The next Republic crew will help you, I guess. Okay. Well, since that didn't work, I guess we'll go right back up. And talk to the other guy. Maybe we can convince him that it's safe. <sighs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Wait, where'd he go? Where did he go? Huh. Well, now I'm stuck what? again. Damn it, you honey. <laughs> How do you keep getting me stuck on you? Every time. Alright. Welp. Since I can't find him no more. Let's use the submersible. And go home. Oh, go back to Manan. Alrighty. And we're good. Nice. And... We're probably going to have to do a quick debrief with the Republic guy to tell him what the hell happened, because a lot of things happened in a very obvious way. A uh, big explosion under the sea would probably be noticed by literally everyone. So, that'll be fun. We'll probably have another hearing. Yay! Fun! Anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and trying to help save Manan and save the Republic at the same time. And also save the Republic's people. Apparently we couldn't manage to do that for everyone. And a lot of... Selkath are dead, and a lot of Phyrex and Sharks are dead. But at least we didn't poison the Kalto by that other guy's weird plan. And instead, just calmed down the Shark by destroying the equipment. So, here's hoping that doesn't have any long-lasting ramifications. As opposed to the poison, which probably definitely would have for you.